All right, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you got some great information and learned from each other and got some new ideas. So does anybody want to put their hand up and be the first to share what their room talked about? Otherwise, we start to call on you. Yeah. <laughs> so like room one was performance arts. Well, this is Sam speaking and I'll talk, but I'm sure you guys are sick of my voice at this point. No. Um, we didn't have enough time in our group. We were just, we were just starting to hear about the good stuff that's going on. Oh, um, shoot. But we did talk about the challenges of, uh, and, and the benefits of having, uh, you know, a, a, a university or a school space, uh, as your venue and how you can piggyback on some of their access points and, uh, maybe, uh, do some other things to increase them. So that's what one thing I thought of. Well, am I giving you too many instructions and not enough time? <laughs> and you probably so who else? So who else wants to volunteer? Hey everybody, Blind Joe here. Uh, was just uh, we were kind of introducing ourselves to each other and just kind of discussing stuff. So we. Uh, and uh, and we were uh, people were talking about just different venues and uh, you know what what they've been through and what different what the different companies are doing to uh, to keep promoting accessibility and it was really a really a, a informative thing so thank you for that Ria I really appreciate it awesome great about someone from visual arts I can report out on that um, but. Others, please chime in if you want. Um, three themes kind of emerged. Uh, one was um, the struggle with making historic buildings accessible. Um, and then also just going above and beyond the accessibility requirements. You know, it can be it can be accessible, but what more can you do? So trying to explore that. Um, and then also um, uh, emergency preparedness. If you are on like uh, one of them was on an upper floor, and in an emergency, the elevators are like, like a fire, the elevators shut down. So how do you plan for um, evacuation of people with disabilities in those situations? Um, so we didn't really have any answers or have time to discuss too much, but it was, um, those were Im Im important things to think about. Um, and, but it sounds like everybody's been doing a good job of, of you know, with accessibility so far. So anyone want to chime in? And um, then how about Sally? You want to talk about your group? Yeah, we um, only had a chance to kind of introduce ourselves, um, but I can speak for my institution and another one that we heard from um, one of our largest uh, barriers to creating our um, or improving our facility is um, funding and having the finances to be able to do that. Those are all big barriers. That's right. Anyone else not get a chance to say anything, talk, want to share? Well, this is really great. And I'm so thankful for all of you to have connected today. And really, I just, the big picture I want you to take home with you is that taking one step forward and just always having in the back of your mind, what's another thing that I could maybe start to think about and change. And, and slowly you'll start to build yourself a framework of accessibility and you'll get, you know, more participants and, and just have that positive influence on the community, which is what we're reaching for, right? So next, and we're gonna give this a shot, Joel. Are you there? Do you think you could possibly do a little performance for us before we end the day? Oh, I bet we could make it happen. Let me see if I can get this thing to go on speakerphone here and hopefully you guys can still see and hear me when I do that. Give me. Yeah, I, we can hear you. Give me just a sec. Can you see me? Yes, we can. 
Okay. No, At least no. those of us that have sight can see you. <laughs> yes. And I will. Uh... Shoot, now you're paused. All right, can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you, but I can't. And can you see me? No, now we can't see you. You can't see me. Okay, hold on. We're gonna get this working, y'all. No worries. Well, this is technology's fault and my fault for not knowing anything about this stuff. <laughs> no, no. We tried to meet, remember, but you, it, you're so you're traveling, so it's hard. Okay, so now we see video again, Joe. Okay, and can you hear me? Yes. Okay, you can hear and see me. All right. Yes. Hello, peeps. Blind <laughs> Joe here. Let's play some music, huh? See how this goes. All right. I woke up this morning seeing things a little differently. Last night I made my mind up and that's how it's going to be. I opened up my eyes, words swimming in my mind, tapping my toes and I'm humming this melody. I'm a man on a mission, I'm the only one I can change. This mean no world is always gonna stay the same. Oh, but even in the bad times, the sun's gonna shine on me. I'm gonna make the bad days better than the good days used to be. Yeah. I spent 40 long years being way too hard on myself. That's true. Hell, it was rough on my mind and even worse on my health. I've been dragging that weight around. Y'all, it sure did pull me down. But I'm a gonna stand up man and play the cards I'm dealt. Best I've ever felt. I'm a man on a mission, I'm the only one I can change. And this mean no world is always gonna stay the same. Yeah, but even in the bad times, the sun's gonna shine on me. I'm gonna make the bad days better than the good days used to be. Yeah, man, even in the bad times, the sun's gonna shine on me. I'm gonna make the bad days better than the good days used to be. I'm gonna make the bad days better than the good days used to be. Woo! Love it. Awesome. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear that okay. Do we have time for uh, one more, Ria, or how are we doing? I think that? we do. Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um... What do I want to do here? I hit you with some original music. I wrote this song uh, partially for my wife and partially for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. By the way, uh, ladies and gents, let me give you some audio description on, on me. Uh, handsomest dude you've ever seen in your life or never seen if, if you're a blind like me. No, I, I'm teasing, of course. Um, I am uh, 6'2", probably uh, 180 pounds, 190 pounds, something like that. And uh, right now I'm sitting in a chair. I've got a uh like a polyester shirt on cowboy hat a bunch of jewelry kind of look like a rocker dude um and behind me is a quilt that i use as a backdrop that has a bunch of my old t-shirts uh so you got like some uh slipknot and ozfest and all this heavy metal stuff that i'm into uh i play my guitar flat top so if my guitar's on my lap uh, rather than the standard way of playing it, but I am in uh, standard tuning. So there you go. This song is called I Can't Even Write a Song Today, and it goes like this. I can't even write a song today. I try, but you keep getting in my way. I guess the only thing left to do now is to kneel down by the bed and pray. Cause honey, I can't even write a song today. I've been thinking about you all day long. Everything I write just comes out wrong. I 
Put my pen to paper, eat my bread, and poop this dog out. And I keep thinking about you all day long. So I can't even write a song today. I try, but you keep getting in my way. I guess the only thing left to do now is to kneel down my bed and pray. So I can't even write a song today. I know you and him can help me out. I know what we can do without a doubt. Yeah, I'll pray to him right now. And when you get home, I'm going to make you shout. Yeah, honey, I know you and him can help me out. I can't even write a song today. I try, but you keep getting in my way. I guess the only thing left to do now is to kneel down by the bed and pray. Cause honey, I can't even write a song today. Yeah, honey, I can't even write a song today. Yay! Awesome. Thank you very much, Wonderful. gentlemen. I appreciate Sounds it. Sounds like a song to me, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right. Well, I guess we're kind of coming towards the end, everybody. Uh, I'm going to make sure and pump up our web page that has all of the resources and links and the chat from our visit today. I'll get the recording on there as soon as I get some chance to edit it and break it apart so it's not four hours and you can't find anything. <laughs> Um, but it's it's going to be a place where we're going to have available for you to get resources, connect with us. And just like Beth was saying, our website is almost as easy. Just put ND in the middle, arts.nd.gov slash accessibility is the page where our, um, our information is. Does anyone have any last minute questions at all? I'm seeing a lot of thanks and I so appreciate everyone's time. And I know Kim does too, but I should give special thanks to all of our speakers and performers. I just um, want to say thank you, Rhea. Thank you so much for putting this oh. whole thing together and for bringing everybody together. I know this is like your first time doing this and you yeah. did an absolutely phenomenal job. Thanks to everybody for having me and, uh, God bless you all. And uh, yeah, this, is a, this has been really awesome. So thank yes. you very much. Yes. And I want to start a network of, of having people with, that identify as having a disability be kind of a resource for us and for our community and for our arts organizations so that we can, you know, send, have meetings and send them website links and say, hey, what needs to be better and what, how Yeah, and be if anybody has any questions or anything like that for me, I am always available over at blindjoe.com. Just hit the uh, contact button there and uh, there you go. That's how I found him. So he does answer his, his contact email. I do, definitely. So, so this is Kim. I just want to also say we will be sending you um, an evaluation after uh, the meeting probably early next week so we give Rhea a chance to breathe but we want <laughs> we do want your feedback it's important <coughs> for us to get some and appreciate that and thank you to all of the speakers and to all of you for attending yes I mean I'll send you all specific notes so you know how much you mean to me so thank you so much um, check the website and have a fabulous day. Just stay out of the wind in North Dakota. <laughs> Amen. God bless. Bye guys. Thank you. See Thank you. you.